Welcome to Football Therapist, my, my channel. Today we're going to fly to South America or, or more precisely to, to Ecuador. Ecuador is a country we Europeans don't, do not really know from, a, uh, from a, a football perspective and that is quite normal because in contrary to Argentina, Brazil, Chile, Colombia and Uruguay, Ecuador hasn't been actually su successful at, at the World Cup or at Copa America so far. In fact, uh, Ant Antonio Valencia is maybe the only Ecuadorian player that, that has been in top club recently, but this could soon change. Because if Ecuador is nearing a, a direct uh, qualification for the World Cup, it is not only due to some disappointing performances from Uruguay, Colombia and Chile, uh, as Ecuador became a really tough team to beat actually. And one of the reasons for it is surely the, the individual quality they, they have in, in some young players like Piero Incapié, Moises Caicedo, Alan Franco or Gonzalo Plata. These four players have all two things in common. Uh, first, they are all going to be introduced and analyzed in my next video. But, all, but they are above all players that have grown uh, by Independiente del Valle. And this club is precisely the topic of this video for a reason you, you, will, all, you will have already guessed. Uh, the success of their academy, which has been the best in the country for a few years now. It is, that, it is then not a coincidence that the club's first team has also been successful recently. In fact, the club from the Valle de los Chios, uh, a valley located in southern Quito, has not, has not only gain, uh, gained importance in Ecuador, but also in all South America. And this is partly a consequence of the good job that, that has been delivered in, delivered in, in the academy, as the number of homegrown first-team players has been re rel relatively high since a few years. We are therefore not surprised to when we find out that Ecuador won the U20 World Cup bronze medal in 2019 and that Independiente del Valle won the, the U20 Copa Libertadores in, in, uh, in 2020. But IDV has not only won title with its youth teams, because in addition to having been Copa Libertadores finalist in, in 2016, the club won the, the Copa Sudamer Sudamericana in 2019, competition that can be compared with the Europa League in Europe. What stood out more than this victory was the way of playing that the Spanish coach uh, Miguel Ángel Ramírez brought to the team. Under him, uh, it was very easy to recognize his positional play and pressing style of football, which showed uh, a sort of unity within all the club's teams, as the principles of play are the same in the academy. We can indeed find in the youth teams this willingness to, to recover the ball, and when, in and when in possession, the players wait till the unlocking of a good of a good. Uh, opportunity to attack instead of playing long balls for no reason. Despite this same identity of play within the, within the club, which, not, which notably facilitates the, the, the transition towards the first team, there are in the academy training cycles in which the focus is put more on a, uh, on a more direct style, uh, style of play. The reason is, a lot of players won't be able to play for the first team and others will be too good for the Equatorian League. These players will therefore need to adapt themselves to, to another style of football when playing elsewhere. That is why it, it, it is also important to, to practice another style of football in, in the academy as selling players is, is part of the club's model uh, because it, it's what makes them grow actually. However, Independiente del Valle pre prepares its players not only for financial reasons, as there is in, in the club a, a real desire to, to, to help and develop not only the players, but also the, pe the, the persons behind them. ITV indeed feels uh, the responsibility to, to educate its young players, we, which makes even more sense when we, when we find out that 
that the, ma that the majority of academy players live in sports complex, as the club scans country countrywide uh, through its different football schools. To live in the academy means not only playing football, but also being far away from, from his parents, and if a club uh, kind of kidnaps uh, a young player from his parents, uh, the club has to take over the, the, res the responsibility to, to educate him um, as well, something Independiente de Valle uh, understood very well. Their values are more important that, than, vin than victory, which means, for example, that if a player, the best ones included, has bad behavior during the week, he won't be included in the squad uh, at the weekend, and even if the match is an important one. IDV also leads um, a fight against diving, because although they want to, to win, they, they don't want to, to do it at, at all costs. The academy coaches also try to, to let every player um, a few times on the bench each season, so that they, they can learn what it is like to, to be a substitute, as they will have to experiment it anyway in the future, and it's this it's this uh, this season they they will have to accept. And victory shouldn't in it shouldn't in indeed be the the priority in youth football uh, as an academy's goal is to develop players for the first team. This vision is obviously uh, put into practice at Independiente del Valle's scouting department because. Instead of recruiting players with a more advanced physical growth to, to win the U12 uh, league, for, inst for instance, the club will take the players that are more likely to, to join one day the first team. And that is quite rare because the, the majority of the world's football academies have a majority of players that are born in the second calendar semester because they are more developed above all physically uh, meaning they stand out more uh, than the others on the field. However, there is as much talented players born. Uh, there, there are as many talented players born uh, during the second calendar semester as these born uh, as the one the ones born in the first semester. That is why players invited by IDV to possibly join the first team later on uh, have above all their technical and tactical ab abilities uh, being tested through different uh, exercises re requiring a, a good understanding of the game. And once at the, at the academy, there's also, in addition to the collective training sessions, uh, an individual approach to, approach to, to develop these young players. And this doesn't only this doesn't concern only the fitness aspect of, of, of the players, as their football technical weakness can can be trained uh, as well as their strengths, since those are the ones that enable the player to be different on the pitch. And since every academy match and training session is filmed, partly because it, it is difficult to to see every game details live from the dugout. Coaches can later show uh, each player different video extracts so that they can take the best possible decisions on the pitch. Things like which body orientation should be used in a specific situation or which foot should be used to make a certain pass. But to develop players as much as possible, it is key to develop coaches as well because they are the ones that will have the, the most impact on the players' evolution. In order to do so, Independiente del Valle has different solutions. The first one is that the academy director follows uh, as much training, uh, so as many training sessions as possible to to give his opinion on the coach uh, on the coach's exercises later on. And even if the academy the director can also suggest a few other exercises. Coaches aren't forced to use them at any time if they are not convinced. This feedback indeed aims to encourage reflection on how can we create the most productive training, sh training sessions, which is the end goal. With this same objective in mind, the Academy Direct also uh, organize, or organizes a, a meeting every week to to discuss uh, on a particular topic together with the academy coaches. 
how to train the the creation of spaces against a low block, for instance. As these workshops, uh, the first part is, is dedicated to, to debating in order to draw con conclusions. Then comes the second part, uh, which takes place uh, on the pitch, where coaches uh, self-experiment different suggested exercises. These were roughly uh, the different parts of Independiente del Valle's academy way of working that should be put in, into, into practice in every other football academy when, when possible, in my opinion. But the, the Ecuador Young uh, Club also has to, to make, uh, uh, to take other decisions because, because of its specific environment. You need to know, for example, that since the club has the most talented players of the whole country, the youth teams don't have very competitive league games, which isn't ideal, actually. The solution ITV then opted for is to register its teams for international tournaments to, to maximize the, their, players develop, their players' development. What is also specific to Ecuador is that most of the kids and teenagers don't know anything else than football when they when they enter the, the academy. Notably because some of some of them are, are put under pressure by, by their family. Some parents uh, could indeed see their kids uh, as an opportunity to, to have a better financial situation through a through a football career since poverty is very common in the country. That is why practicing sometimes another acti activity at the academy en enables them not only to, to, unwind a little, to unwind a little bit, but also to, to discover something else that they could like even more than football. To practice other activities can also benefit players from a footballing perspective. With judo, they can take a possible fear of the, of the contact with with the opponent away and learn how to fall on, on the floor without getting injured, for instance. Uh, whereas basketball improve, improve, uh, improves the, the coordination of the arms, for example. Well, I think that was it, guys. Uh, in my next videos, I'm going to analyze the, the four Ecuador national team and former Independiente del Valle Academy players uh, I mentioned at the beginning of the video. So if you don't want to miss it, don't forget to subscribe to, to my channel and to my Twitter account. And if you enjoyed this video, you can drop me a like as well, uh, let it me know in the comment section and share the video. That would help me a lot. Bye-bye.